Biofilms can be dangerous, deadly even, and they are often unstoppable and almost always expensive to combat. They are the number one cause of hospital-acquired infections and lead to 13,000 deaths in the United States each year. The impact of biofilms on healthcare costs is, is quite huge, and especially because these um, infections are usually costly to treat and they can become chronic. They also wreak costly havoc in industrial and military settings. Every time there's a water flowing through a pipeline that's not sterile, a biofilm can potentially develop in that pipeline. And, and if that is not properly eradicated or controlled, that can turn into a manufacturing problem. Soon after, the Earth's earliest inhabitants formed in the planet's warm waters. Microbes began clumping together to create the world's first biofilm. Biofilms are 3.4 billion years old. Yet biofilm research only began in earnest in 1990, when a grant from the National Science Foundation helped establish the Center for Biofilm Engineering at Montana State University. Studying microbes as biofilm, I would credit with the, the CBE here at MSU in, in the 1990s, and really purposefully uh, setting the goal to study microbes specifically as biofilm and what that meant and how things differed compared to when we study them as free-living or planktonic cells. Scientists are only beginning to understand the mysteries of these colonies of microorganisms living in a protective layer of self-produced slime. Scientists now believe more microbes live in biofilms than live in solitude, a concept that is turning upside down long-standing assumptions about bacteria and viruses and how to combat them. The concept of biofilms was a paradigm-changing idea. And so when, when this idea came about, it really changed how we thought about microorganisms. We have a set of instrumentation that allows us to look at a wide diversity of biofilm samples. Biofilm from a corroding pipe is not the same um, as from an extant medical or implant device. Spraying disinfectant on a single cell can easily kill it. But disinfectants and antibiotics are generally ineffective at killing microbes once they have formed a community encased in a protective layer of slime. In 2017, CBE Principal Investigator Garth James participated in an expert panel of researchers that sounded an alarm bell to the medical community that biofilms are the mystery agent that prevents chronic wounds from healing. This idea of using oral antibiotics to treat, you know, something that can't be penetrated, for example, is a huge change in the world of medicine and hopefully will also minimize antimicrobial resistance due to, you know, overuse of antibiotics. Physicians have treated diabetic foot ulcers using the same protocols for decades with limited success, often resulting in amputation. The expert panel is calling for physicians to cut out the unhealing wound. It may sound radical, but it's not as radical as the inevitable limb removal after which half of the patients will die within five years. But not all biofilms are harmful. Some can be beneficial. For instance, the CBE recently developed a biofilm that can be injected into leaking oil wells hundreds of feet below ground and harden, sealing the cracks that cause leaks. This technology is an example of how CBE seeks real-world solutions to real-world problems. This is a hallmark of the CBE's unique industrial associate program, which forms a partnership between corporate interests and applied scientific research. We uh, at the Center for Biofilm Engineering are really in touch with the real-world relevance of our work. And Partly that is facilitated by all the companies that we talk to, but I think that's always been part of our, our motivation here and our uh, ethic to, to understand that there's a tie between what we do in the lab and a real-world problem and a real-world solution. The CBE also works closely with federal government regulatory agencies. In 2018, the Environmental Protection Agency adopted the testing method established at the CBE for evaluating the effectiveness of antibiofilm agents, a new category of cleaning and disinfecting products beginning to emerge on the market.
The CBE is the world's first, largest, and best-known biofilm research center. Its scientists have been cited more than 60,000 times, 50% more than that of Harvard University faculty, the second most cited institution. We're always looking for ways to take fundamental knowledge and train students in fundamental knowledge and, qu and query and questions, but have a an applied context to that and be able to use that information so that we can do something with it. The Center for Biofilm Engineering at Montana State University is working with researchers around the world to unlock the mysteries of biofilm and eradicate their economic burden and threats to human health.